is Matt from the Man Cave. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching with your daily devotion for June the 11th. Guys, today we're going to be in Proverbs 24, verse 16, and it says this, and this is some of you. It says, for though the righteous fall seven times, they rise again. I know I've fallen more than seven times, and I know I'm talking to some people that have gone down in flames, but here's the thing. You got up. Oh, wow. Well, man, where are you going with this? Life is full of things that try to knock us down, push us down, or trip us up, and we fall to the ground. There is no shortage of things that get... Oh, I mean, I can't tell you how many times I've stumbled, but here's the thing. Because we're in Christ, because we have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ, we're followers, okay, of the Spirit of God, we get back up. We don't stay on the ground, okay? A lot of times, people fall down... They don't want to get we back up. We all got to get back up. Life is full of setbacks and disappointments, okay? But we get back up. We move forward, okay? We're putting our backpacks on, okay? We're getting hydrated. We're moving in the direction of God, His blessings and His favor for us. We're moving in the direction of His will for us and that purpose that He has for us. I'm the first person to tell you it's easy to get discouraged and lose enthusiasm for life. Man, here's the thing. I've had some things happen in my life. It just took the wind out of Sometimes it. in life, we just want to settle. We just don't want to fight anymore. Meaning this, okay, as, as Christians, we're warriors. And some of you are what I consider frontline warriors. Meaning you are an assault on the kingdom of Satan. You are assaulting the gates of hell, okay? You are trying to take those ambers, okay, out of the flame, out of the coals, and bring them over to the light and life of Jesus Christ. God bless you for doing it. But there are times when we get discouraged so badly that we just want to settle where we are. We don't want to move forward. We're just kind of, I, I, I've had it. I mean, I've had, I'm not quitting. I've just had it. I can't push forward no more. No, friends, you have to keep on pushing. We're not going backwards and we're not staying where we are. We're moving where God is moving us, okay? And that's always to a place of victory. If we get to that victory, you have to know that God's word says there's a reward, okay? If you know there's a reward, okay, you'll move forward. Word says don't grow weary of doing good, okay? Because in due time, you shall be rewarded. The way of saying that is this. Don't grow weary of persevering, of going forward, of pushing through, of punching through. Friends, I love jets. Have you ever gone to a, a show, an air show? They're so cool. I love when they get real close to the ground and I can feel the thunder. It's awesome. Well, here's the thing. I love when they punch through, okay? And a lot of times we have a, an Air Force base near us here, okay? And so when these jets are hitting supersonic speed, boom! I mean, I, you see this big cloud or you hear the thunder or the echo of it. And I don't understand the terminology. I probably got some Air Force guy going, Matt, you got it all wrong, but I understand what you're saying, okay? Uh, Keep to the saying Bible. that to say this. We can't settle. We can't stay where we are. Why? Because that's not God's best. That's not God's will for us. I guarantee up in the book in heaven where it talks about your life, it's not saying once you get to this point and you get frustrated, just quit. Just sit on the sidelines. Just enjoy ease, comfort, and pleasures. Don't move forward anymore. Don't share your witness. Don't be a part of the church. Don't be a part of Christ. So I guess I'm saying this. If we're going to see God's best, we have to have what I call a bounce back mentality. No matter what comes into your life, whether it's discouragement, a setback, okay, you lose your job, a divorce, no matter what it is, it could be because we're always falling like our verse Today. We fall seven times, but in the text it says that we get up over and over and Part over. Of life is falling down. We learn when we fall down. We learn when we have setbacks. We learn when we have heartache, pain, suffering, okay, hardships, the valleys, the storms. Those are the things that teach us. I know a lot of us really wish those things were eliminated from our lives. But no, those are the things that are growing us into who we're going to be in God, in Christ, okay? They develop us, they shape us, okay? I have to fall, okay? Nobody looks forward to falling, okay? And it hurts sometimes when we do fall. But what I want you to do is get in the habit of no matter how many times I fall, I'm going to get back up immediately, okay? I have a bounce back mentality, okay? I'm not staying on the ground. I'm not feeling sorry for myself. I'm not looking at the situation and going boo-hoo-hoo, -hoo, okay? No, 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 no. And I'm not complaining to friends. And I, you see what I'm saying? I'm not doing any of those things. I'm not having a bad attitude or a negative attitude. No, I'm getting up. I'm evaluating things. I'm going to God. I'm getting new directions. I'm getting new insight. I'm getting counsel from the Holy Spirit. And I'm moving forward with the bounce back mentality, knowing my best days lie ahead in who? In Christ, through Christ, with Christ. You have to get in the mindset of every time I get knocked down, I'm going to get back up immediately. Nothing is going to knock me down. Nothing is going to stop me. Why? Because God is going before me and he is with me me, okay? I'm moving through these obstacles, these hardships, Push through those things, okay? Because my focus isn't on those things. My focus is on God. A lot of times when we fall down, we start looking at the event that caused us to fall or the person that caused us to fall, the season, 
okay, that determined our fall or the situation that happened, okay? And we're looking at those things and we're contemplating those things. No, those things are just tools in God's hand to help you. What you want to do is look upward towards Christ. He's going to direct you. Hey friends, there is no challenge too difficult, no obstacle that is going to be too high for you. Why? Because of Christ. There's no sickness, there's no disappointment, there's nothing that's going to stop you when Christ is in you and directing your steps. Yes, you're going to fall, that's part of life. And sometimes, okay, that's preordained by Almighty God that you fall. Because He knows in the fall, that He'll lift you up, okay? When I am weak, then am I strong. That's what God's Word says. You remember this, that the same power that raised Christ from the dead lives inside you. Get up off the ground and start moving forward. God wants you to stay in faith, keep a good attitude, move forward, keep your eyes on Him, okay? and get up off the ground every single day, every single fall. Don't stop what you're doing, okay? Move forward. Don't let that thing, that event, that season, that person slow you down. It's a bump in the road. It's a speed bump. Sometimes they're there for a purpose, okay? But here's the thing. You fall, get back up. The enemy of your soul wants you to stay on the ground. He wants you to quit. He wants you to have a little tough, have a, a, a pity party about yourself. He wants you to stay on the ground because you're ineffective on the ground. You're not doing anything for anybody on the ground. You're just wanting sorrow and pity, and God doesn't feel sorry for you for a moment. Listen very carefully. God's not feeling sorry for you. Why? Because He lives inside you. You're a victor. You're not a victim, okay? You're not grounded forever on that airplane. Oh no, eventually you're going to hear from the air traffic controller. It says, hey, all's clear. It's time to get back up. It's time to fly to our next destination. That's what God wants you to do, okay? Keep your eyes upon Him. Move forward. Don't stay ground. The text says, though we fall down seven times, and friends, I'll tell you what, it's a whole lot more than seven times in my life. Uh, how about 70 times seven, okay? Or 70 times 10,000. That's a big number. No, I have fallen. I've gotten up. I've fallen. I've gotten back up. I've learned. I've scraped off my knees. I've got patched up. Sometimes I had to take a week off, a month off, a little bit of time off, but I'm moving forward. Whatever it takes to bounce back, that's what you need to do. Listen very carefully. Whatever it takes in your life for you to bounce back, that is what you need to do, and you need to start this very day, okay? You can do it. I know it's hard. I know it's difficult. I know some of you were hurt and you're damaged, okay? Here's the thing. We got to move forward. We got to get up off the ground. We have to forgive. Do not let bitterness grow in your heart, okay? Because the bitterness defiles the many. That's what the book of Hebrews says. No, let's move forward with the plan that God has for us. And the plan is this. Bounce back this very day. Take the steps necessary to get up off the ground. Wipe yourself off. Move forward. Even if you have to start back walking, at least you're doing that and you're going in the direction that God has for you. Because eventually that walk's going to become a jog and that jog's going to become a run. And then you're going to be a sprinter through the line and Jesus is going to say, well done, good and faithful servant. Hey, this is Matt from the Man Cave.